for the serious gamer. Hey guys, it's Spider by NextGenTactics.com. Look at this, Kanan Lynch 2 Dog Days. This is a single player demo, just came out on the PS3 last night. And uh, it's pretty intense. I never actually played the first Kanan Lynch. So I really have no idea of, uh, you know, the characters and development, but um, I do know that's Lynch. And I believe that's Kane. Or is that Lynch? I don't know. Kane and Lynch. Kane. Yeah, it doesn't look like the same guy. Anyways. It's uh it's pretty gritty stuff, let me tell you. The whole thing is like oh yeah, great. I wanna watch the guy piss. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. All right, Kanan Lynch 2, Dog Days. Yes, here we are. This comes out in, uh, I think, uh, end of August sometime, I believe. We'll see. We got a uh, single-player demo for you. And we do have some uh, multiplayer videos as well. Bye bye. All right, so we're buffering here. We're just loading up the demo, and uh, we'll see what happens. How's the food, man? The camera is, like, weird. But anyways, just watch. Just watch. That's not Kane. That's some other dude. Oh, crap! Now, uh, I do apologize. I, I meant... Well, I did turn on subtitles, but... Uh, all the options that you set on the uh, demo... Don't actually stick. So there's some stuff like the sensitivity and whatnot I turned up, but it, it doesn't save. Because uh, I don't think you're allowed to actually save that stuff for, you know, either betas or demos. Um, so it just defaults to whatever the default controls are. So yeah, shoot these guys. You end up with a, a shotgun to start off with. And so the controls are uh, pretty typical of a first-person or third-person shooter. Although the button configuration is a little different. L3 is uh, cover, is take cover. L2 is sprint. R2 is reload. Uh, nearly everything else is uh, is pretty similar to like a, a Bad Company 2 or Modern Warfare 2. So we got to get out of this. It's like a, I don't know, Japanese restaurant or something. And you can actually find uh, weapons, I think, on your uh, D-pad. I believe that showed uh, it showed a little hint there a few seconds ago about how to find weapons. So you can pick up weapons. Obviously, we picked up this uh, SMG, and there's still a bunch of guys at the end of this hallway. The um, again, the, the the camera movement, and you know when you're actually sprinting or or moving forward. It's a little weird. It takes a little getting used to because it's, it's jumpy. And, you know, again, it's that... I can't remember what TV show that's it's like. There was a couple TV shows that, that came out. And I think even Bowser Galactica was like that, where the camera sort of moved around. You know, when, when you're focusing on somebody, it, it's not... The camera doesn't actually sit still. It, like, moves around, right? And, and I think it gives it more of that gritty look. And even the the graphics, like the graphics get somewhat grainy from time to time. Yeah. And you'll see it yeah. like when you're sprinting, uh, maybe even during cutscenes, but it's a little bit grainy. Again, uh, a little bit 
more edgy. And obviously this game, you know, it's M-rated. There's killing, there's swearing. Uh, you should see the, uh, they have the little tutorials, these tutorials for the multiplayer and how to play the multiplayer. And, and we're just going to, these guys are tied up. I mean, may as well just get rid of them. I mean, they're witnesses. Right? <laughs> um, so yeah, like the, it's probably a little bit on the excessive side, actually. So, you know, if you're not into that kind of thing, then uh, this won't be a game that you'll be interested in. So we're following this guy. Again, L2 is uh, your sprint. It's kind of hard sometimes to actually know where you're going. There's no on-screen indicator. You don't have like a mini-map or anything like that. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, sorry. I mean, this is a shooter, right? Yeah, that's right. So yeah, it's it's kind of hard to know where to go. Hopefully, at least in this uh, short demo, there was a guy that we could follow. And I'm not sure how it, uh, how it works for the rest of the game. I believe there's um, there's also co-op, which is good. I mean, obviously, Cain Lynch, you know, uh, two-player co-op would make sense. <laughs> right? Uh, and I believe you can, uh, well, you can do split screen. I believe it's set up for split screen as well as uh, online. Okay, so we're coming in here. We're going to finish these guys off. There's a bunch of them here. Uh, it kind of sucks we ran out of ammo on our SMG, so we're going to use the, uh, the shotgun. Which, of course, isn't, uh, you know, isn't pre-patch 1887 range and damage here. <laughs> so, we kind of got to get closer. And again, look at how wide the site is. But you have to, you have to center it. Because you're, you know, and, and it's similar to, like, the assault rifle sites. Um, you've got such a wide site, but, but you still have to center it on your target. Otherwise, you're not going to hit them. You're not even going to come close. You know, at at, uh, at short range, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna hit the guy. You're gonna destroy him with a shotgun, but not at uh, you know not at medium range here. So you just want to finish these guys off, and I believe the way to go is uh, through this building. But I played through it. Uh, this is the second time I played through it. Don't shoot, whatever, man. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, you can also take people as a human shield. So. You saw it uh, popped up a little uh, hint there where you can press circle and, and take the guy as a human shield. Uh, I, we, I did that in uh, actually a multiplayer, and I'll explain it a little bit. I didn't do it here on the demo, but, you know, basically, you put the gun to the guy's head and you walk him out, and if people are shooting at you, they can kill him instead. Okay, so you just open this uh, door here, and we're going go to go out into the street. Uh, as I mentioned with the uh, settings, I tried to put subtitles on, and I did put subtitles on, but it didn't stick. So unfortunately, we don't get subtitles. I mean, if we do the full game, I mean, any game we do from here on in, if subtitles are available, we'll make sure and uh, we'll try and put them on. So that uh, if we're talking over when the guys talk, uh, you can at least see and read uh, what they're saying. So got another police car coming up here. Damn. Nice. So we gotta switch weapons. Actually, we do have uh, another SMG. Did we? Do, I think we picked that up actually. Okay. And then, uh, so yeah, you can have two primary weapons, which is good. Um, what else? But yeah, like I said, that and I, I sorry, I died in this uh, last part, so I, I just cut out. I cut out uh, that part. But you don't have, uh, actually, I didn't see anyway. Uh, maybe they'll have it in the full game. You don't have, like, uh, grenades or frags or anything like that. Uh, maybe, like I said, in the full game you will, which definitely comes in would come in handy. So right here we're taking cover with L3, trying to finish these guys off. And, and you know, this is on easy mode, and it's actually not super easy, which is good. But... I don't really, I you know, <laughs> to play it on the hardest difficulty is probably going to be a real pain in the ass. And these guys come from nowhere. Like, they're actually half-decent AI as well. 
So we're getting to the end here. Uh, again, the multi, uh, sorry, the single player demo is pretty short. And uh, the multiplayer only basi basically has uh, one game mode, so we're going to do a couple videos on that following uh, this one. But uh, I thought I'd show it to you. It's, uh, it's a real, you know, gritty, badass type of game, it looks like. And, uh, you know, it doesn't look half bad. When I first started playing it, I was getting kind of dizzy. But uh, after playing it a few times, that was the end. I mean, there's an ending cutscene stuff, but I'm sort of out of time, so I didn't include that. But uh, like I said, after I played it uh, the second time through, it kind of grew on me a little bit. So, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll do some stuff with it. Maybe not. We'll see. Maybe, you know, if you guys can leave comments or something, um, if you think we should, then let us know. Anyways, for nextgentactics.com, I'm Spiderbite, and I'm out.